Hey, this is Melissa Etheridge, and this is Premier Guitars Big Five. What's my favorite guitar? You'd think that would be easy, except I have a lot of guitars and I really love so many of them. Instantly, it comes down to my top three, which is my Jerry Jones uh, lipstick 12 string electric and my Les Paul, of course. But I think I'm gonna go with, I think I'm gonna go with my uh, Gretsch Chet Atkins Country Gentleman. I, I don't play it often. I, I, I have it on the road with me and I play it maybe twice a night, but it is so special. It, it, Pete Thorne, when he taught me some of the finer points of lead guitar playing, he said, make it sing. And my Chet Atkins, which I have named Kate Blanchett, is, um, it sings, it, it, I can get it on that, the bridge pickup and it just, it, it, the sustain is ridiculous. It's wonderful. It's a, it's a uh, 19, um, oh, I believe it's 84 I, to play. That is my favorite guitar. Then, you know, let's go down to favorite guitar that I have on my wall that I don't play anymore, you know, but the, my favorite guitar to play is that one. Why did I call my Gretsch Kate? I started I started naming my guitars uh, about 10 years ago. I, I had named, well, I had named my uh, Jerry Jones, my turquoise, seafoam green turquoise, uh, Jerry Jones uh, trouble just because it, it was, it was just a great guitar. And, and before I even played a note on it, people were like, ooh and awing because of the color, which makes me laugh. So I call it, you know, it's some, so it's like a person that's really pretty, but actually, you know, gets the job done. So, um, I, st I, 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 I don't name my acoustic guitars because I have so many of my Ovation Adamas, uh, guitars. I, I'm, they're like, uh, they're like a good Chevy. They, they, they're a great just car that gets that you know, it's a great guitar that gets the job done. It's basically a percussion instrument, pretty much, uh, it, it is is what it's like. So um, I don't name them, but I have named uh, the, my main guitars that I use. They all have a name. I have a Les Paul Custom uh, 82, and uh, it, 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 if you know the the 82 uh, Les Paul Customs, it's a black, uh, beautiful black. It, they have the. They thought it would be cool if on the on the tuning pegs they put little like tiny little things that you could uh wind up, that helps you wind instead of winding up you know this way it's, it's like one of those you know things that you get that make it easier to you know put your guitar string on they have little ones it was just that year that was that ooh 1982 let's do something different so you know that's a, that's a little aside of that but i it, it's is black with white trim with gold uh uh pickups and hardware so i called it marlena it's marlena dietrich looks like a woman in a in a tuxedo what makes the gretsch my my, my favorite to play i think it's it, one is consistency and, and I, I really like that out on the road here some some of my guitars can be amazing all of a sudden you know one night and then something with the way the hall is or something it's just a little there's a little less sustain a little less you know, what, whatever it is, but uh, Kate, uh, my Gretsch, just really sings consistently. And it, it's the sustain, it's, you know, it's the semi hollow body. Uh, you get just enough sustain and, and yet if there's still that solid, you know, in, in the woods sound that that can push through and, and I can just make it sing. And it's, it's just got that neck that you can go so high on and, and, and just it's, it's really consistent all the way up. But actually, another thing I, I forget, um, the the Bigsby, he designed a, a special Bigsby. It's the Chet Atkins uh, handle on it. And it fits my hand so well that it's the only Bigsby or whammy bar that I can hold and play at the same time. 
And uh, so I actually have put all of those on my other Bigsby's. I've, I've made them, I've customized them to where they all have the Chet Atkins uh, arm. Oh, what's my Desert Island album? Well, if you think about that, you, it, well, it has to be something you can listen to over and over. Something where every single song is, is fantastic and meaningful and something that paints a picture for you because you need your imagination and something you can sing along with and something that speaks to you. I, it has to be uh, Bruce Springsteen's Born to Run. That's every single song takes, you, takes me somewhere. Every single song is a memory. Yeah, I, I have to say that. My biggest pet peeve with our in, uh, amazing guitar culture is just the, the way that instantly, because I did it. I did it for a long time. I was like, digital sucks. Digital is nothing. We can't. Everything has to be analog. Everything has to be through. An amp. And I toured a long time like that. And it, uh, it was, it's always a struggle every single place I play to get the same sound again. And it elongates sound checks and it's, uh, you know, and, and I, and then if you ever had to, if you ever do a fly gig where you have a rental gear, then that's just, you know, oh, you don't have a sur amp. Oh, you, oh, you've got a Fender twin that your brother's uncle had, you know, and you're like, oh no. And, um, I had a gig up in Alaska where we had to do a flight. We had to do rental gear and it just, it, it, it just brought me to my knees. It was like, Oh, it was bad. And my techs finally came to me, the sound guys and the, uh, and my guitar techs. And they said, look, what would make your life a lot easier is if we went digital with, with fractal and, um, axe effects. And, uh, I, uh, I reluctantly said, okay, I'll, I'll try. And it's, it's really amazing what you can get. You know, I, I, I still, I'm not going to use it in the studio. I I'm still a purist. I can, be that way in the studio, but I, on the road, I really, I had to make friends with digital. Which of my guitar heroes would surprise my fans? I don't think it would shock them, but, but I think uh, I think some people don't think of him as a guitar hero, but to me, he really inspired the way I play my acoustic guitar, and that's Richie Havens. If you go back and look at footage of just footage of Richie Havens from Woodstock and his huge hands playing this acoustic guitar. And it's got, it's got this rhythm that he plays like with the drums, you know, here comes handsome Johnny and he's, you know, singing. And it's, it, it just gives me chills thinking about it. And I remember as a kid, I had, for once, it was, you know, the guitar I had. I had an acoustic guitar because they wouldn't buy girls electric guitars back then. Um, and he was rocking. Here he was at Woodstock rocking the acoustic guitar. And it put in my head, I can do this. Him, Jose Feliciano, I used to watch him and, and think, oh, my God, he's just that percussive part that the, uh, you know, the acoustic plays. So I, I think uh, maybe that would surprise people. What's my secret weapon? Well, when I do my show, I, I, I play a lot of different guitars. I play um, acoustic, you know, 12 string. I play it. I play, I do, during Bring Me Some Water, I'll, I'll do this big uh, uh, percussive sort of solo. I'll pull out... Uh, you know, my 347 and play, you know, this amazing solo. I'll pull out my Les Paul and I'll even solo on my Jerry Jones 12 string. And I'm having all this. But everyone remembers the drum solo I do with the drummer. <laughs> Nobody remembers the. I mean, they remember the guitar solos, but they all. But oh, boy, that drum solo, that was something. We, sh we share the set. I go from one side to the other and it, it's re it's it's really amazing but after all that you know I, I play guitar all night long and and I just want someone to say man you're solo in this but no it's it's oh man that drum solo that was really something you know I'm like, okay <laughs> it makes me understand that that when it comes to 
the audience you just want to you just want to entertain them you want to lift them up and and they're they're not musicians they don't know that i i finally hit that you know one you know flat nine chord that i wanted to hit they don't know that you know they just know man it was really cool when she was playing the drums i'm flying down the street with the devil inside